The classical therapy of Parkinson's disease is substitution of the dopamine deficit by its precursor, L-DOPA. We have developed a new therapeutic concept, the stimulation of the endogenous L-DOPA biosynthesis in the brain of Parkinsonian patients by NADH. Its beneficial clinical effect is demonstrated on three cases. We want to show you what the new medicines for your disease can do. Say the word electricity. Electricity. Artillery. Artillery. Yeah. And now let's put them with your hands forward. This patient is a 52 year old biochemist working in an analytical laboratory. Yeah. He suffers from yeah. Parkinson's yeah. disease since four years and was treated with Madopa, the yeah. classical Normal. medication. In spite of this therapy, his disability yeah. deteriorated and could not be improved even with higher dosages of Madopa or other additives. The patient has difficulties in getting up from his seat and in walking. He moves forward in small, tripping steps. One hour after infusion of 25 milligrams of NADH, the patient's disability improved considerably. The mimic was more animated, the pushing and jumping ability was incomparably better to that before the NADH treatment. His walking was remarkably improved. The left screen shows his walking before, the right screen one hour after NADH treatment. How NADH acts biochemically may be explained on the simplified scheme of L-DOPA biosynthesis. The rate-limiting enzyme for this process is the tyrosine hydroxylase, an iron protein with H4-biopterin as coenzyme. H4-biopterin is formed from H2-pterin under the action of NADH. Parkinsonian patients do have a deficit of H4-biopterin in their brain. According to this metabolic pathway, NADH increases the amount of H4-biopterin available in Parkinsonian patients, leading to an increase in L-DOPA biosynthesis and due to this to an improvement of their motoric disability.